kid I can remember the crate power block being a thing and to me it seems like they packed an awful lot into a tiny little package and I'd like to know your opinion and your thoughts if you were a person who had one of these in the past uh, or if you know of something more modern that can do the same kind of job as the crate power block because I think it's a great idea so this was a little solid state amp that came out I think the reason they stopped making it was because they brought in some new regulations and kind of safety I think stuff uh, based on stuff coming out of China they have a line in they also have an XLR out they have an effects loop um, you know, it's a really fully featured little tiny box. It's also a stereo power amp. So you could do a ton of stuff with this, but I don't know how reliable they ended up being for people in the real world. So the, the range of tones you can get out of it, you know, is mostly focused on the clean stuff. Or, you know, you can crank up the gain if you like and keep the level lower. <laughs> I don't know how that's gain a high mid and low and you know that's the most gain you can get out of it with single coils it was actually breaking up i think quite naturally you know that's not to me a bad sound at all uh.
anyway, the, the gain, I kind of had it more around the halfway mark. And then it kind of takes pedals fine. This is a J-Rocket dude. Although, you know, maybe it, it might be, I think, getting a little bit woofy in the low end. You know, it can totally do some really cool tone. In terms of riffage. So I think that was kind of the reason that people really liked it as a backup because it fits in, you know, it's like the size of something like the Line 6 DL4 delay pedal, but you know, plug it in via IEC cable and you could have a, a perfectly usable backup there. <laughs> And it has this headphone out, which is what I'm using at the moment. So I've got it loaded off. Then I'm using the headphone out into an HX stomp running an IR and... It's taken that pedal really well. And to me, it's not harsh or anything. It's, this is doing exactly what I think you'd want from this kind of thing. So again, let me know, are there alternatives? I think to me, the most obvious kind of player in this space might be Quilter. I haven't had any experience with any of their stuff, but equally I've never read anything negative about this stuff either. But the Crate Power Block, I think a great idea. I'm not sure it was the most well-built little uh, amp in the world, but I think it certainly defines a niche that could be totally useful for a lot of us gigging guitarists. <laughs> If you're stopping by, let me know your thoughts on the crate power block. Cheers.
Thank mm-hmm. you.